I'm Ken Coleman and welcome to today's Daily Doodle. Today's Daily Doodle is 19. So today I was a little bit bored. Last night I was a little bit bored looking for the next subject. I have something big lined up for the weekend. Uh, it's going to be a multi-parter. And so I was just looking around through trinkets. And AV people might see this not so much as a trinket. It's a two-way splitter from when I was in college. Come home and fix one cable wire into here, and then you could have two feet out for two different television sets. Don't always find that much use of it, but it might come off as a cool little tech still life subject. Just going to take some of the dust out. All right. That is a dog. <laughs> that clatter. Alright, I'm going to stand it on its corner. And let's begin. This. Now the palette for today is I forgot to label this one. This is Kilimanjaro 240202. This one is Golden Grass DAA520. And then we have Ochre CC7722. I'm going to be using the white from the background for some of the accents and the lightest excuse me, the lightest parts of the brass. I'm going to switch over to pencil. So this is a interesting little tech bobbit. When I got it at the campus store, there was no particular type of brand recognition. It's just sold in the Ziploc bag, and it might not have been actual Ziploc. That's the generic brand. And with that comes an aesthetic that is so, I want to say austere is the term, but it's just very bare bones. It's what's necessary, it's the label, it's right along here. It's durable. It's lasted the past years since I've been out of college and the years I used it through college. Made to last, but not by someone who would be recognized. This is going to be a relatively quick doodle. A little bit subtractive, a little bit additive. Just drawing the framework now.
Uh, you know, we have three threaded little screw on ends. I don't know the technical terms for these. Sorry, I just woke up. That's my idea of the threads. All right. Go. So the Kilimanjaro is going to be the darkest of our tones. It isn't as black as some parts of the label, but sometimes the color black tends to deaden a picture. Without having any touch of color in it, it can just be a draining um, draining element of the image. Which makes it a neutral color when it comes to fashion. Uh, not exactly to um, uh, I can't think of the term right now. It's not as When added, the color, the palette, isn't as cohesive. It takes away from the cohesiveness of the image. Whenever too much of a black tone and very dark jet black is added in. So today we'll substitute with Kilimanjaro. Shadows. Heck, we'll work right on this one. So, first, I'll take that center piece where the label stands and from such great contrast. It is partly due to highlighting direction. But this part is a relatively lighter portion and everything goes dark from there. Let's 
some shadows there. I'm not really sure what this fourth little piece on here is for. If a nail goes through it or something. Now we'll get started on our ochre. And we're using ochre mostly as a reflective tone. The brass isn't too ochre, but some of the colors that it reflects back are. And I'm just going to add in a few touches of it right now. What I said about congealing is also why I'm working with all warm tones today. Kilimanjaro, while it is very, very dark, it is a shade of a shade of brown and orange. So it's in the same neighborhood. And if I was to add just a little highlight. It still goes well. It's much better than using a very dark blue or something. Now the thing about the bottom piece, the bottom end, it's all one piece I think. is that this is where the main highlight is hitting the object. So just like the bell, it's not going to be a highlight on this side or a highlight on that side, but right in the middle. Similar right there. Go back in with the Kilimanjaro and darken that space. So the next tone that we add in is the golden grass. And that's going to pull this brass together. It's also going to give us a base for when we're adding in the Kilimanjaro to darken parts and then pull back with the white. So there we go. It's going to just pour down right over this side.
through these faces of the block. Kilimanjaro. There we are. Sometimes that's red. There's a little bit more shadow. I don't live alone. Shadow up. Uh, the golden grass brings a little bit of levity when otherwise the colors are too dark. Okay.
Just dust it off so I have some light. I know that this piece can be a little bit boring. The important part about having a artistic skill is not just the output that you're proudest of, but also regularly exercising it. It's like sharpening your knives. Like a chef sharpening his uh, knives or anyone with a kitchen. Uh, so this would be the corner, the edge. All the corners. I'm not going to write in. This is a two-way splitter, and the the megahertz coming in and coming out. Too much detail for a, an impressionist piece, but I will add in the presence of that text. This is a little scribble. Maybe. That's what it reads. Diagram. So where it's coming from, uh, location. Yeah. Goes uh the other ways. Because I find that written text when you break it all down and may not understand some uh, alphabets. It's all imagery. It's imagery that serve as icons to help people write and read. So you just blur this imagery. All right, that is today's Daily Doodle. I'm Ken Coleman. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the button down below.
There's also an option to subscribe. And a little bell. That will alert you when any new video is posted. Outside of your subscription box. Alright, well thank you. This has been Daily Doodle 19. Bye.